the tea. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee oh. on The Breakfast Club. Well, yesterday, Jay-Z spoke at the OTC Markets Cannabis Investor Conference. And here's what he had to say, because, you know, he has his own line of, of uh, cannabis, monogram cannabis brand. And here's Jay-Z. You know, this space is very complicated, as you guys um, know. Black and brown people were affected by this cannabis industry in large proportions, you know, while at the same time not being allowed to participate. I guess uh, Mike Rubin you know, knows better, like 6%, I think. They're very small numbers. So the idea was to create a brand, create a house of brands and create opportunity for those um, that were negatively impacted by um, this prohibition area. So what they're trying to do is have the largest portfolio of cannabis brands and other things that are affiliated with cannabis and make sure that uh, black and brown people are involved in that. Yeah, That's I think dope. it's a, it's a huge business. For Hove. It's a huge business. There's a lot of African-Americans and black people trying to get into that business. Hopefully, you know, they, they will allow us to and, and take off some of those high stipulations that they have. I mean, like the, the amount of assets that they want you to have is ridiculous. The amount of a lot of things, the regulations that they want you to, to do to have that company or to have a grow house is ridiculous. So hopefully but I do uh, like to the- open that up a little bit more. Yeah, and I just love the fact that, you know, guys like Hove and, you know, there's, there's other companies out there like, you know, Raekwon, the chef with Citizens Grown, who are just giving back to the people who were impacted the most because of the war on drugs, giving them opportunities to, you know, make money in the cannabis business. That's big. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Elon Musk has passed Jeff Bezos. He is now the richest man in the world. And that is because the increase in Tesla's share price pushed him past that. Jeff Bezos has been the richest person since 2017. Right now, he's currently worth about $184 billion. But Elon Musk's car company, Tesla, hit $750 billion for the first time on Wednesday. So Tesla is worth more than Toyota, Volkswagen, Hyundai, GM, and Ford combined. Wow. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be mad on being number two on that list, though. I, you know, that's a great list to be number two on. Yeah, number two. Be I'll be number top 10. ten. <laughs> yeah, I'll be still kill the damn. Be top <laughs> twenty. Nobody cares about number two. Please. All right, now no the baby on that list. Nope. Was arrested yesterday, and they're saying that he was reportedly arrested on weapons charges in Beverly Hills. They said he was leaving the Montclair store on Rodeo Drive, and he and three other men were surrounded by the police just as they were about to drive off in their black SUV. There's video of it. And according to reports, they're saying that he did have a loaded firearm. That's what he was taken into custody for, which is a misdemeanor. He's already out, though, and he did already post in the studio, still on time for the meeting. So... Looks like he made it out immediately. Yeah, there's right. absolutely positively no reason for the good brother, the baby, to be uh, carrying a firearm. his own firearms. Mm-hmm. He's got mad money. You can he afford security. security. Mm-hmm. And I, by the way, I don't know if he had the firearm on him, you know, in, in this situation. But I'm just saying I hope not because he, he got security. All right, now let's talk about Clubhouse because it goes down on Clubhouse. All kinds of secrets are told. Well, my guy Daz was on there from the Dog Pound, and he was talking about why Snoop and Eminem might have some issues. Here's what Daz had to say. When I was talking to Snoop one time, he said that he asked Eminem and them to get on his song, uh, you know, like to get on his album, and they told him no. And Snoop felt some type of way, like, I did all this and all that. And they tell me no. And, you know, Snoop like, no, nobody tell me no. But Eminem probably didn't even know that Snoop asked to do a song. That probably was Paul Rosenberg saying no. So he took it personal. They took it personal. As he should have. He should have took I, it personal. As much as Snoop did for, for all of them and helped them. Yeah, and I asked you to get on my album, you told me no. I would take it personal Yeah, too. but... But I understand what Daz is saying because he might not have spoken directly. You know how sometimes you go through a person to get to the person, through another person, and then the artist you wanted to... Because uh, I, I can't imagine Eminem saying no to Snoop. Just yeah, personally, like, I don't way. think he would. So it could be that he didn't even know. Snoop ain't got to go through 20 either people way. to get to Eminem, no? Exactly. Mm. But, but, but either way, why the hell is Eminem so sensitive? Eminem would get on records and say what he want about people for years. But as soon as Snoop says, you know, M's not in his top 10, and Snoop was objective. Snoop said, yo, M is in a lot of people's top 10. He's just not in mine. Well, did that really warrant some I don't think that's what he was upset at, about because he, Eminem said he wasn't him yeah, saying he said it was his top tone. 10. He said that's fine. Have you, no, I think it was have because you heard he said M- I could live. 
I think it was because he said he could live without him or something like that. Eminem has killed so many pop artists in his music. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's talking about people not living not living without people. He's killed so many pop artists in his music. But Why is I he think it's because so they considered he thought they was cool. I think it's because he thought they were cool with each other. It's different when it's somebody you don't uh, care about and they say something about uh, you, but if you like, damn, where did that man. come from? I'm sure Snoop thought they were cool too when Snoop asked him before to be on the album, and they said no. I mean, we you heard like what Snoop Dad tone. said, though. He thinks it was a misunderstanding. He probably, Eminem might not have even known. But that even if it was Rosenberg, that's his manager. That's his right-hand man. Like, should be the same thing. We, just, Eminem, right? we I, just don't know I, what I happened. It could have been a misunderstanding. Uh, I'll say this. Eminem must be tone deaf then, because he hasn't heard his own tone. <laughs> over the years if you don't like somebody's tone all of a sudden like come on you're Eminem man knock it off I mean if he felt a way about it he could be honest and say it I think that's fine right but don't yeah, you think so that's so a little so. hypocritical especially being that he's said what he's wanted about people for years I mean I think if you cool with somebody and then they say that about you and it comes out of nowhere and you're like damn where did that come from it's probably different than if it's somebody you don't know or mess with but Anyway, that is your rumor report. I'm Angela Yee. All right, thank you, Miss Yee. Charlemagne, who are you giving your donkey to? You know, uh, I'm giving donkey of the day to members of Al Cracker and Vanilla Isis. I know yesterday I gave America donkey of the day, but today I'm doing my civic duty, and we have to help help the FBI identify some of these fools. Okay, I'm just gonna do my my job this morning. That's all. We'll okay, so snitching is okay today, right? Just I'm a being civilian. clear, yes. I'm, I'm, a, uh, I'm a civilian. Okay. I've never <laughs> had a problem. I'm for real. I, I, know you, I know you mad because we said something about Eminem, ye, but yes, I'm, I'm, I'm a civilian. I'm fine. Charlamagne. I'm just asking a question. With, with, I just want to make sure. When you see something, say something. Out there, it's okay. said, I'm for real. I'm telling on everything. That's Not right. On especially, especially on these uh, members of our crack and vanilla ISIS. Absolutely. Because they would do it to us in a heartbeat. All right. Donkey, the day's up next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.